Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to continue our journey with Duke Angela. And we are going to rig a leg in Duke Angela. I will guide you through the common issues you face when you want to rig a leg. And lastly, I will show you how to design a leg which is perfect for your rig. So now before we start, all I want from you is that to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Now, let's begin. Well, rigging a leg with Duke Angela is just similar to rigging a hand that we made in the last video but there are a few important tips when it comes to leg rigging that we want to review together in this video so here i have this uh, illustration file that we are going to practice and animate it during these and next videos so i want to rig the uh, leg of this character for myself so if i select the rigging the character, sorry, and I press Ctrl plus C to copy it. I'm gonna press Ctrl plus N to create a new document and I'm gonna select the web large 9020 by 1080 and I'm gonna paste this character. Now I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna drag it to make it bigger. Now if I navigate through the layers and I have this leg over here and let's bring the also the shoe inside as well as you know the um, bottom part of the calf and then I'm gonna um, make a new layer in here and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna push them towards here and I'm gonna delete this entire layer so here's our leg well as you have saw my last video which I was reading the hand I have mentioned that the when you want to uh, rig a part of a human body in Duik Angela, you need to pay attention to the naming structure that Duik provided us. For example, if I go towards the hom if I go towards the hominoid section now, and I click on leg, uh, and I click on this gear icon in here, as you see, I have I should have a tie, a calf, or foot, or even a toe. And for my for this character, everything will just apply. I should have a tie, I should have a calf, and even you know a foot and the toe for my character. So let's redesign this footage. Now the way I'm going to go now is a wrong way, but I'm gonna show you why I want to why I want to do this because a lot of new designers will just face this challenge. And I want you to understand why we do these steps. So if I want to break these uh, layers, what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna create a couple of layers. Uh, for example, I'm gonna call this tie. I'm gonna call this calf. I'm gonna call this foot. And what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna press and uh, select this path. I'm gonna press Ctrl plus C, and then I'm gonna press Ctrl plus F on the tie layer to you know place the exactly at the same place if i press ctrl plus v it's just gonna randomly place it illustrator is just going to randomly place it where, wherever it can so i'm gonna uh, copy them one more time and i'm gonna move this towards the calf and i'm gonna move this towards the foot and now let's re redesign this layer so uh we need this layer for the tie and I'm going to delete this one since we don't need it. So for the tie layer, which is the upper part, I'm going to hide these layers so we can only see these layers. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to um, press P to go towards my pen tool and on almost here where it's on middle, I'm going to set a point and then by pressing an A on the selection tool, I'm just going to delete these dots so this is going to be the tie layer now let's hide it and let's go towards the calf i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to this time select these two upper points and i'm going to delete it so this is going to be the calf and this is going to be the lower part so I'm gonna move it towards the calf and I'm gonna move it down 
let's also fix the small issue that we have in here so I'm gonna press A I'm gonna move it in here okay so here's the layers right we don't need this one and here's the foot everything seems good right so now it is time to rig it so to do that first i need to save my file so i'm going to go towards file so i'm going to call it a uh, leg rig let's press save and let's hit okay now let's go towards our after effects and then import all, uh, and import our file. So here I'm going to make sure that the import kind is on composition and the footage dimension is on layer size and I'm going to hit OK. Now let's double click to open these layers and now let's bring it towards the middle. So as I explained, so as I have explained before, we need to fix the anchor point before we start rigging. So I'm going to select the tie. I'm going to move it, move the anchor point in here. And if you're not familiar with how this rigging system work, I highly encourage you to watch the previous video, which is how to rig a hand. I have um, explained everything in depth in there. So if you want to learn, you can watch this video. So I'm going to select the calf and I'm going to place it in here. I'm going to select the foot and also I'm going to place it in here. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select the upper part, the tie, the calf, and the foot. And now I'm going to click on the leg by uh, and holding the control key to parent the layers. So do it automatically parent the bones to the selected layers. And let's now just place the heel in here and go going towards the selection tool i'm going to select all of the bones and i'm going to click on auto rig and now i'm going to click on hide layer controls and now i have a rig but before even i move i will say that this rig is completely wrong and if i wrong move the legs as you see even though the duration is you know on the opposite side, I'm going to make it on 100 to fix it. But as you see, we have some, you know, bending issues in here. This is happened because I didn't set the joint properly. So when you want to rig a leg, you need to pay attention to how you want to place your joint uh, for your character. And now let's fix this issue. So let's go. All right, so now let's fix the issue that we had when we wanted to rig our leg. So to fix this kind of issue, when you want to rig a leg, all you need to do is that you need to create few circles that serve you as a, um, as a you know, joint. So you might ask uh, where and in what place should I create those circles? Well, you want to create those circles where your joints are getting disconnected. So for example, if I go towards the circle tool in here, and as you see, this is the first part that the tie, you know, it's the tie gets uh, connected to the body. So I'm going to create a circle like this. So I hold shift and I'm going to create a circle and I'm going to make sure that the edges of my circle will cover the, uh, you know, what I call the and length of the shape so as you see this is something like this i'm going to make sure that is it is exactly on the right place so and going to the middle this is where the calf should be so i'm going to create another circle I'm gonna make sure that is exactly precise on the edges. And this is gonna be where the legs should be. So 
let's make sure that the circle is just enough. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm just gonna delete these shapes as we don't need them. And let's move these towards a new layer. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go towards the pen tool. I'm going to go towards the middle of the first circle. I'm going to create a, a rectangle like this. This is going to be the tie. So let's move them towards the tie. And let's colorize the red circle to this bluish color. Now same goes with the cow layer on the middle of it. I'm gonna cl cl click and create a, you know, rectangle like this. I need to make sure that the line is straight so we don't need the circle now what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna select these two circles I'm gonna move it towards the calf layer and this is gonna be the calf and now what I'm going to do so that I'm going to delete this layer and I think this should be an extra layer so now here's the leg okay now let's save it and let's go towards the after effect now here on after effect what I'm going to do is that I'm going to um, bring the new artwork and let's double click now as you see when I select the layer I don't have those circles that I have created and I need those circles because I want to place the anchor point exactly on the middle of the, you know, circles. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select them and then I'm going to go towards the create menu and I'm going to create shapes from them. We don't need the illustrator layer, so I'm going to select them and delete them. So let's move the leg in here. So I'm going to select the tie. I'm going to place it in here, exactly on the middle of the circle. I'm going to select the calf, I'm going to move it in here, and I'm going to select the foot, I'm going to place it in here. Now, selecting the type, calf, and foot, going towards the harmonoid section, I'm going to create on the leg. This time, I'm going to even make sure that the toe sec selection is, uh, the toe section is selected. I'm going to hold control, and then I'm going to create a rig like this. Now we need to adjust the toe, so I'm gonna select the. This is gonna be the heel. I'm gonna place it in here. The toe, I'm gonna select it in on here, and I'm gonna fix these positions like this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna select all of the layers, and I'm I'm gonna click on the auto rig section. And then I'm going to click on hide layers. And now let's do it. Now let the do it does its expressions. Now, as you see, we have a rig that is perfectly aligned. But as you see, it is wrong on the duration. So I'm going to set the duration on 100. So now, as you see, the leg is perfectly normal. And you can bend it and do whatever you want with the leg. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave out a like and subscribe to my channel as it will help me as it would help me out a lot for my future videos. Well, thank you for watching this video. I see you in the next one. Have fun.